Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to uninstall your graphics card from your system. Now, before we start to teach you the actual process, we are gonna be talking about some quick fixes that you can do that could solve your problem. So one thing we would like you to check is make sure that the power cable that's connected to the graphics card is installed properly. Second thing is make sure that the graphics card is seated flush against the PCIe lane on the motherboard. The next thing we're gonna have you check is making sure that your HDMI or display port is connected to the graphics card and not the integrated graphics on the motherboard. Right here on the graphics card, we have the HDMI and it is labeled on the back of the graphics card. So we have an HDMI and display port. So depending on what kind of monitor you may have, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you plug it in down here. So if you have a motherboard that has an HDMI on it, you don't wanna plug it in here for the integrated graphics. You want to plug it in down here into the graphics card. And the last thing we're going to have you check is the software side. Making sure that all of your drivers are up to date. The first thing you're going to want to do is, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go all the way to the right and there's a little arrow that you want to hover over and click. There, you will see a little green icon, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You're going to see a window pop up saying NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You're going to click check for updates to make sure that your graphics card is up to date. If your graphics card has updates, it'll say install, custom install, or express install. So go ahead and go through that process of installing the graphics card to have the latest drivers. If you already have the latest drivers, then we're gonna go through the process of uninstalling the drivers and reinstalling fresh drivers. To install or check the drivers for an AMD system, you want to right click on your desktop and click on AMD Radeon settings at the top. And at the bottom left corner, click on update. Then it'll take you to a new page and there will be three options. You want to click on the option that says check for updates. If the problem persists, you want to then begin the process of uninstalling the driver. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your computer is turned off. You can do that by either pressing the button on the back to make sure that the power is off. You want to press it down to the little circle. Then go ahead and disconnect the power cable. Make sure you remove it all the way and make sure you discharge any electricity. Once it's already turned off, you're just gonna press the power button a couple of times, make sure that there's no electricity. All right, perfect. Now, after that, you're gonna remove the side panel. Now, it depends on each case. Different cases have a different way of removing the side panel. With ours, we just have four little thumb screws that we can take off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So go ahead and set this off to the side, somewhere safe where you won't kick it. Put the screws as well somewhere safe, set them to the side. All right, so now we have easy access to the inside of our graphics card. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the power cable that's attached. Now, in our case with our graphics card, it's only one cable, but if you have a higher end graphics card, there might be two cables connected to the graphics card. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. You can apply a little bit of force. You don't have to be too scared that you're gonna rip the graphics card out. Take the computer and move it down onto its side. Once you have the case on its side, you are then gonna remove the screws that are mounting the graphics card to the case. So that'll be different depending on the case you have. Some will be on the outside and some will be on the inside. Um, in our case, our screws are on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and start with those. You can see where the graphics card is mounted into the expansion slot, which is these little slots on the side where you normally put your cables through to connect it to the graphics card. Those are the expansion slots. After you've unscrewed the two screws that are holding down the graphics card, you are then going to reach down inside the case and on the motherboard, you will see a little latch that you can press down. You can see the PCIe lane uh, that the graphics card is sitting in. Now there's a little latch, you just wanna press that down. That will allow the graphics card to be removed. And there we go, we have our graphics card. You wanna make sure when you set it down, you wanna set it down, fans down. That is the safest place. You don't want anything to touch the PCB. So now that you're done with removing the graphics card from your system, we're gonna now start with the packing process. And of course, there are a couple things that you're gonna to need to get. Of course, you're gonna need two boxes, one box to put the graphics card in, and then another bigger box to put the box in. After that, going to need to get yourself some anti-static wrap that you'll be putting the graphics card inside, then some bubble wrap, wrapping the graphics card, of course, and also laying a bed underneath the graphics card when you place it inside the box. 
And then you're also gonna need some sort of paper, uh, newspaper or foam or something that's gonna fill the void around the graphics card and protect it when the box is being shipped. Of course, we have wrapping paper here. I know it's not exactly newspaper, but we're gonna just be using this as an example to show you how to properly fill the box and properly package your graphics card safely. So first thing you're gonna do is obviously get your graphics card and place it inside the anti-static. Now I don't have tape at this moment, but it'd be a good choice to wrap it up nicely, kind of wrap it up like this and then tape it. Then after you do that, we have this type of like uh, envelope this uh, bubble wrap envelope that we use here um, at CyberPower PC. Um, but what you can also do is you can just wrap the graphics card in bubble wrap and or just place it inside. And then of course tape it up. Now after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and get your box. And you're gonna put a layer of either your um, paper or foam that you're using or bubble wrap. Now we have some bubble wrap here. Just wanna put a nice little layer of bubble wrap at the bottom of it so it protects the graphics card from the bottom just in case the box gets dropped or something like that. Just kind of layer it in there. Make sure that there's a nice little bed. And then you wanna put your graphics card in the center. Place your graphics card inside and then you'll go ahead and begin to put your paper, packing paper, or some type of foam and start filling in the void. The empty space around the graphics card to protect it. You just keep going, filling it up so there's no empty space. You wanna package the graphics card like it's a glass item, like some cups, say if you're moving to a new house and how you would package up cups if you were to take it to the new house. You just wanna package it up as safely as possible. You just keep going, filling it up. Fill this up as much as possible. After that, just go ahead and seal it up, wrap it up. So you will be needing two boxes. Now, after you've got the graphics card packaged up in the smaller box, you're gonna go move on to a bigger box where you're gonna put the graphics card box inside the box, a box in a box. So you wanna do the same process, of course, of making a bed for the graphics card. Now, in this video, we don't have that much wrapping paper, but just imagine that it was completely filled at the bottom. You just wanna place a bed with either the wrapping paper or uh, newspaper or the bubble wrap. Then place this inside, center as possible, once again. Now this would be taped up for you guys. And then you just wanna repeat the process of filling the empty space with your paper or packing foam. Then you seal it up and then it's ready to be shipped to us. And now the card is shipped, we now wait for it to return back to us. Oh boy! Look at our brand new graphics card. Now it's time to reinstall the graphics card into our case. So go ahead and unbox your graphics card. Take it out of the bag that it came in and or anti-static wrap. Go ahead and get the screws that you got from uninstalling your graphics card. Set them to the side. Then we're gonna go ahead and lay the case back down on its side in the original position we had it in when we removed the graphics card. So you wanna screw the screws back into these little holes right here and you'll notice that they meet onto the case right here. You wanna have your PCB facing upwards towards the CPU cooler this way. And you just wanna line this all up. This long yellow part goes into this little latch right here and you'll see that it'll latch up and lock it in place like so, like that. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up. and then just kind of give it a quick little jerk down. Boom, you see how the latch went up? That's how you know it is secure. Alrighty, so now that it's screwed in, you are going to take the cable that you removed earlier, or a couple of days ago, and you're going to then plug it back into the graphics card. You might be wondering, how, which way does it go in? Does it go in this way? Does it go in this way? Well, this little tab on the part, you'll see a little notch that it has on top of the actual power cable. You wanna go ahead and make sure that the latch on the cable 
connects onto it. Might need to get a little more slack depending. And then I'm going to press down and make sure that the latch is fully secured and in place. So now that you have your graphics card back into the case, you're going to have it stand up and you want to make sure that you plug it in properly. Flip the power supply button upwards to the little line. Then you're just going to go ahead and press your power button and voila, it should turn on and you're all good to go. If you feel like you're having any troubles at all, don't hesitate to contact us at our customer support and they'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope we were able to help you out and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.